clean these things up a lot. They almost look so good that I could just use them like this now and not even paint them. Eh, they're still getting painted. All right, it's 20 degrees outside this morning, so I highly recommend if you have anything to do like this with taping and you're in a cold climate to do it inside. I'm sitting inside here. Luckily, I have a warm spot where I can sit and do this. I kept the rims inside overnight and the tape because if you left it outside, it won't stick and it just won't work. You couldn't do this with regular masking tape because it wouldn't be flexible enough to turn around the, the, the lip here, around the rim. So I'm using the 3M Automotive Refinishing Tape and Ultra Flexible, Ultra Sticky, for ultra good results. <laughs> I know you're trying to hear that it's really windy out. Yeah. The rims are heading to paint. Mm hmm. Heading to the paint booth. Going to a paint. Going to. Oh, sing me a paint song. That's awesome. No. Come on. Did yeah. I at you, Chapman? Um, what? Pause. I guess you can pause the video. Alright, so you guys can see. Got everything taped up that I want taped up. Getting that edge is the trick. All right guys, just like in the last video I did on painting the motorcycle frame, and just like basically when you paint anything, you wanna wash everything down with acetone real good, just to clean all the dust off. Just basic acetone. I should be wearing gloves and a mask when I'm doing this. I've got really good ventilation going on in here. So I'm just gonna work quick, wipe everything down thoroughly, make sure you don't miss any surfaces because anywhere you miss could be contaminants, fingerprints, grease, dust, whatever. You guys get the point. Everything has to be cleaned really thoroughly if you want good adhesion of the paint. All right, so what I'm using here today is actually it's a two-part paint, so if you've never used this before, you puncture this here in the bottom of the can, you push that in, and then it mixes the paint, and it, it just it gives you like an amazing professional finish. Now, obviously, I'm not in a booth here. A lot of people, you know, knock this method. It, it's pretty clean where I'm at. There's no dust. I'm in in a house, so it's it's super. I mean, when I say super clean, it's clean for what I'm doing, and um. That two-part paint, you can buy that at Cliff's Auto Parts. You can find it online or whatever, but it's a two-part spray paint. It's, it's, it's far different than a regular spray paint you would buy at like a Home Depot or something like that. It, it provides a much better finish, much higher quality, more professional results. So I'm going to get started here and start spraying on this primer. I'm going to use a self-etching primer, and then I'm going to follow up with the top coat. So if you've never used any, if you've never done any kind of spray painting before where you're really going to take it seriously and try to get really good professional results, um, you could look at any manufacturer of the paint and they would have uh, instructions for you. But you want to hold the can about 8 to 10 inches away and keep the can moving is the main thing. You never just want to hold the can in one spot and spray. That's the worst thing you could do. So 8 to 10 inches away. Let's see if I can get a can here. And just you just want to keep it moving the entire time, just back and forth, back and forth until you get good coverage. And I can't stress enough, very light coats. You don't need to put this stuff on heavy. Just go very, very light. Let it dry for an hour. Come back, do another very light coat. You'll have much better results, and it'll look professional if you do it that way. Here. Guys, always wear your safety gear. I know it's kind of hard to see with all this sunlight coming in, but this makes a big difference. Because not only do you not breathe the painting, you don't get it in your eyes with this. I'd always notice after a lot of spray painting, my eyes always feel kind of funny. And it's because they got overspray in them, of course. So get yourself a good mask if you're going to be doing a lot of painting. It's worth it. All right. Two coats of primer. It's kind of hard to see what you're looking at here, but... Alright, I couldn't be any more happy with how these turned out. 
and they haven't even had the clear put on them yet. So once we put the two part automotive clear coat, it's gonna look even better. But they, do, they definitely turned out pretty good. Let's see. And they really have that cool old school Yamaha look going on. It's really hard to tell in this lighting, but it looks sweet. All right, so I'm so excited to take this tape off. I'm not even gonna wait until it warms up outside. I'm just gonna do it right here in front of this pellet stove, right by my back door. I'm gonna start peeling the tape off and see what we have, see what it looks like. Go with me here. tape on here. This tape is so sticky. Holy shit. This is going to take a lot longer than what I thought it was going to do. This is the 3M automotive tape. It's super super flexible, super sticky, and it's definitely super sticky because it doesn't want to come off. I have the best helpers ever, I have to say. Jack, is this fun? Yeah. Best birthday present I could ever have is having you as my helper. I know. You helped me tape them up too, didn't you? Yeah. Wait, did I? Uh, not really. A little bit. Yeah. I got you anyway. Yeah. I think this is going to look pretty sweet, honestly. You also have to keep in mind these are 40 year old wheels. I love the red and the gold. I'm not a, totally in love with the silver lip, but I did that so when we mount the tires, we don't just trash the paint. <laughs> 